Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is an amateur lightweight MMA bout over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He has an amateur record of one win with no defeats. He represents Workout Soul. Ladies and gentlemen, Goncalo Conde! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he has an amateur record of two wins and one defeat. He represents Team Caban. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Grundy! Our referee, Mr. Nico Joka. About 13 at UKFC 22. And we've got Jack Grundy, red corner, black shorts, taking on Goncalo Conde of Workout Soul in the blue corner and blue shorts. Jack Grundy rightly touted as, uh, you know, one of the hottest prospects in UK MMA. He's got the, uh, the lineage to back it up. His dad, Mike Grundy, is obviously in the UFC, one of the best teams the UK has ever seen in Team Cowboy, and just a young lad and already looks phenomenal. Uh, absolutely, and, and that one loss on his record, I mean, you have to look at that as well. An, inc an accidental illegal shot that caused the fight to end, a fight that he was dominating. He's really undefeated, and if he's, his record might not say it, but in his head, he needs to think that way. Absolutely, and uh, you know, starting with confidence here, got his takedown early, looking to get the right controls on Conde on the ground, not rushing anything. Wanted to chop the legs initially, realised it wasn't there, and had the uh, had the intelligence to get to the side control, the cross face, looking really strong. Yeah, he is a huge lightweight. Yeah, Condi hold on to Ed. He's going to get uh, choked from there, potentially. Von Flu, if he keeps holding on to that neck. I, mean, I thought that's what uh, Grundy was going to go for, but he's just looking to drive his way past. But oh, yeah, he could get that Von Flu dropping that shoulder heavy. Condi can't even let go now because Grundy's trapped his arm in. This is a dangerous spot for him. And what does Grundy need to do to finish this then? Just, just keep to get that, that pressure get on. Get that shoulder past his chin. He's given that up now. If the chin's in the way, you're going to find it hard to get straight on the neck to uh, to put him out. But it's still still a strong control position. But yeah, just uh, make sure that shoulder pressure's on the neck as opposed to the chin. He's looking for a smother there as well. And Conde, because he got his feet to the cage to push off, that was a benefit to him as well, right? Yeah, but Grundy, if Grundy peels him off completely, he's going to have a better time controlling him there. He really wants to uh, keep hold of that head, does Conde, but he's not really doing anything for him. It's just a holding position. Can't finish from that side when Jack's across this side. So it's just an essential. I'm going to burn out my arms for the sake of holding you here. Yeah, just to hold on, but now he's let go. Look what happened. So maybe it, yeah, wasn't, maybe, yeah. maybe it was doing something for him, but it wasn't doing anything offensively at least. Well, that's a full mount now for Grundy. He's just tap, chipping away. Happy to keep chipping away. Yeah, now he's broken the body lock. Now he can tee off with some of the bigger shots. He's got more posture. Riding Condi well. Yeah, that's a, about as, as solid as a mount as you're going to see. Yeah, shots coming in left and right. Every time Condi tries to move, Grundy's a step ahead, drives him back to the map. It's really, uh, really professional work from the, this young man. Ten, Ten seconds seven. left to go. And he still maintains that top control. Chipping away. Conde looking potentially for a leg, but it's going to be too late. A strong round in the books there for Jack Grundy. And again, for such a young kid, gets up, deep breaths, completely composed. Although, looking over the corner at Conde for a, for a fighter that didn't have the strongest round he could have hoped for. He does, he looks, looks calm, looks in it, doesn't look too frustrated. Yeah, I mean, does look phase he's, he's, he's not got anything off offensively in that round. Um, you know, he's been under the cosh, but, you know, he looks calm enough. You know, if you're still getting out to round two, then you've still got a chance. Yeah, so, I mean, it's going to have to be a drastic turnaround for Conde. Can he keep it standing long enough to land a shot? Grundy took him down. I mean, opening bell went and he was uh, and he was, he was on it. it so. 
We'll see how long it takes for Grundy to shoot for the first takedown of the second round. Here we go, touch of gloves. And obviously, he's got a, a high-level wrestling pedigree, Grundy, but you know you see John Gillies and um, Colin Herring in his corner as well, you know, two of Liverpool's most renowned striking coaches. So he's, he's got the pedigree everywhere. It, 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 it is sort of... It, I des he decides I want to get in on the takedown. He gets in on the takedown. Yeah, and Conde again holding, holding the neck. This time he's got the arm in, so Grundy can't get like a Von Fu or anything like that. But again, it's just a holding position. He's no way he's going to choke from there. Yeah, again, Grundy's got his arm out now. And from there, with the shoulder where it is, that's where you can get a Von Fu. You see where his yep. shoulder's right under the chin there? And you see him clamping it up. He's going to go for it now, I think. Just got the chin in again a little bit, but he's trying again. Doing the right thing. It's certainly there when your partner holds onto your head. That's the position. Oh, but good half guard retrieval from uh, Condi on the bottom. Yeah, but it, it, again, it's just surviving from the bottom. Slices open the guard. Yeah, Grundy's going to pass them out there earlier in the round as well. Still got the knee on belly. Happier to sit down in the half guard there, is he? Yeah, strong position for him. Condé's not getting up, not looking like he's going anywhere. So, Grundy's got no reason to uh, to give anything away at this point. And when he gets the chance, he chips away. Yeah, constantly working, trying to windscreen wipe that leg to free his, um, his trapped leg. And which does. He does. And right. into the mount. Again, with more time to work this time. Try and peel his man away from the, the angle he's got on the fence, stop him pushing away. Just means there's a little bit less to deal with, means he can hold his position a little bit easier. And there he goes with the strikes. See, now at full stretch for Conde to try and push off the fence is really difficult. Yeah. Even if he, his feet can still touch it, there's not enough leverage there to push off. So now he just has to try the bridge, bridging and bucking of the hips, but... Grundy, it's going to be really tough to get off the top in this position. Uh, yeah, it looks like Condi's um, route out is just to try and hold on, you know. But you see Grundy there framing off the face, trying to create the space to land his shots, doing all the right things. Yeah. Patient as well as Grundy. Yeah, every time Condi tries to wrap an arm for a bridge and roll, you see Grundy peel it out, pummeling the arms. He knows exactly what he's doing. Ten seconds left to go. And you would think that Kankala Kande has it all to do in the final three minutes. Yeah, I mean, you know, satisfying the criteria that you can't be far off a 10-8 round. No. If the first one wasn't, I think the second one has to be. Yeah. Which means it is all on Goncalo Conde now. He does not want to give the takedown up early. And again, it doesn't look massively phased in his corner, but, you know, it, I don't think there's a single piece of offense he's managed to land in this fight. No. So, you know, he could be content to, uh, to last it out, but if he wants to come out and win this fight, he's got to do something serious at the start of the third round. And in the case of Grundy, it is third first, same as the first two, please, if you're the coach. Yeah, I mean, at this point, with how dominant he's been, you know, you'd think Jack Grundy would want to finish this to really assert it. Put a stamp on it. Yeah, he's been so dominant. Um, it looks like there could potentially be a finish there. Conde's tough, he's holding on. I'm sure Grundy's going to be gunning for a finish as well. Well, we've got three minutes left to separate these two young athletes. Conde lands up. Chopping low kick to start the round. Grips to the body, does Conde. Yeah, look, it's land the hands. Oh, front kick as Grundy came in. But it didn't deter the wrestler who no, takes his man down with relative time. ease. Heads in the armpit. If he can keep the ice laid. Conde was savvy to that. Didn't yeah. let him have the arm triangle. Still in a position you don't necessarily want to be in, but... I mean, the way he just slices open and into the full mount. Knee on belly, like there was no... It was like a knife through hot butter. 
stuffed up against the cage now. This is not a good place to be if you're Goncalo Conde. Yeah, and Grundy taking his time, building up that momentum with the shots. Conde going to throw the bottom. I mean, credit, credit for the effort. Yeah, and no quitting him at all. He's yeah. looking to try and fit. I mean, what a horrible position. I mean, it really is all about making yourself safe first. Yeah, almost got the bridge and roll there, but what he's done is take himself away from the fence, which is not going to help his cause. Grundy did a great vine in the legs. And, you know, it, keeping his composure, staying nice and low. He's not going to get rolled over when his body's so low. He's just starting to land the shots. Going to talk to for the back of the head, I think. Back into the position, we continue on. Again, it wouldn't have been targeted. He's, yeah, he's, he's throwing he's, off his back to yeah, try and... He's just flailing, can't see what he's doing. I mean, how frustrating it is when, uh, when you're on the bottom and you're doing everything you can, but the man with you just one step ahead. Yeah, Grundy's done a great job there, trapped the arm. So he's got a crucifix position. He's trying to trap, trap. off the other arm, yep. two of his head and arm. And shots coming in now. This Lots of unanswered end. strikes here now. Conde, as you say, no quit. Doesn't want to stop there. Gets the turn, manages to get his arm back in. He's going to get arm triangle though here, I think. Now was Kenny was wise to it. Yeah, just savvy enough to stay in the fight. I mean, I mean, he's, he's been dominated by all accounts, but just savvy at the right moments just to be able to stay in there. Yeah, the grappling. I think there'll be a lot of people who won't be able to go three rounds with Jack Grundy help. You no. know, so that's to his credit for sure. Grundy, though, looks like he could probably go another, uh, you know, at least another two rounds if he needed to. Those championship rounds. Oh, looking oh. for the arm to finish. Yeah, he heard the 10-second clapper. And that's the right thing. I like to see that. He wants to go for it. Absolutely dominant performance from the young Team Cowboy prospect there. And I have no doubt that the judges are going to score this one in favor of Jack Grundy. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to these two young fighters. After three hard-fought rounds, the judges have come to a unanimous decision for the red corner, Jack Grundy! 